namaste libra welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl let's get into this reading and see what your higher self wants you to know right now just breathe with me take what resonates and leave what doesn't Wow. I'm just hearing like, don't worry, baby. Don't worry, baby. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. King of Wands reverse. Look at that. Look at why. Oh, my goodness. Okay, oh my goodness. King of Wands to the Emperor. Don't worry because this optimistic attitude that you have in spite of, in spite of, in spite of the cards that you've been dealt. Babes, I'm here to tell you right now. <laughs> Because you have this attitude like, mm, my person is out there. I love myself so much. I believe in my dreams so much. Even if I have to wear the pants periodically, mm, I'm gonna do I'm going to do just that because I just believe that my person is out there. I'd rather be alone. Like, what? And it's like, okay. Well, you dropped that zero. I don't know if it was like a, a useless, you know, time wasting X or just a group of friends like maybe something really traumatic happened it was it was like sudden and it's like you started to move in this different direction choosing your head over your heart and attracting legit the emperor this boss this daddy this mm okay I know, I feel like, oh my God. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. This could be a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, you could be dealing with another Libra. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, really strong, really strong Aries. Whoever this masculine energy is, whoever this king of swords, they are putting some action towards making things more tangible with you. You're, you're about to see this sort of like, almost like Game of Thrones type of love. It's, there's about to be a battle. For you, between two men, two women, take it how it resonates. Look at this. And somebody's mama, all right, on the bottom. <laughs> okay. So, there are so many counterparts here. We can't deny that. I actually did this video a couple of times because I just really felt like there was something deep and profound about to happen and the messages they needed to have grit because this massive change is like leading you straight into the arms of your dream come true, your dream person, your dream career, your dream love. Um, this could even be like the best sex of your life like this is your perfect match yeah that's what i feel they're they're just trying to 
say. And so if you've been seeing any sort of signs and synchronicities, if you've been seeing 1111, if you have been dreaming of someone, they've been showing up in your dreams. If you feel this heaviness in your heart chakra and you just know that you're meant to be with someone special, the universe is bringing you, God is bringing you, God is saying, yes, this connection is meant to be. There's a lot of mirroring going on where there is this element of, can I really fully trust you? Can I, are you really truly like my divine masculine? Are you really my divine feminine? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it's your, it's your divine boo thing, okay? It's your person. They're here. Don't, don't take this lightly. Don't take this situation for granted. Be the bigger person. I don't know if you have been. I don't know if there's been some recent disagreements or even other people like interfering just be the bigger person I do feel like who you're dealing with can be petty I'm seeing that yes avoid the petty arguments the You know, the small details, the, the triggers. This person's going to trigger you, but it's like, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. You're still going to find that attractive. I don't know. Just be careful. We do not condone spiritual admiration for toxic relationships so yes I just keep hearing like it's time it's about that time and you're about to see what time it is <laughs> you literally are about to experience this great love with someone that you just you didn't you didn't expect this you didn't expect to fall in love with someone like this but you did and this person is really your actual counterpart you want the same things you're on the same page with them if you are avoiding an argument I'm seeing that that's inevitable. I feel like there's some sort of a disagreement is going to actually bring you closer together. You need to know that one of you has to take the high road and forgiveness, forgive. I don't know what happened in the past. I don't know if this is tied to some so sort of childhood situation. Okay, with this sun card in reverse. I don't know what this energy is tied to, but it seems to be, you know, two steps forward, three steps forward, two steps back, whatever that saying is. And it's like, it's the small petty conversations details that is dulling or could potentially dull your shine yeah it's like the universe is going to take care of your haters you don't have to do anything at all literally you don't you have so much spiritual clout that even when like things just seem to to be off something aligns for you and i think that this is because of the past rejection you know 
letting go of this past idea of not getting your way is actually getting you your way. So this is actually what I'm seeing for you in your future, right? Some good days, some bad days, but with someone who's like there to stay, okay? A consistent love, someone who's gonna be there for you when you're not feeling well, someone who's going to tell you the truth when you make a mistake, okay? This is that person. This is this energy coming in. This is something you have dreamt about for so long. <laughs> um, I'm hearing, yes, this person's going to be really great with their finances. And they're just going to be so aligned with you. There will be many signs and synchronicities. And you will know this because this person is going to be wanting to plan the future. And it, they don't care about your flaws. Um, some of you definitely need to get checked out for some form of like anxiety or depression. Being in a constant state of gratitude is healing on all levels, okay? So if you have been finding yourself wanting to say thank you more and having more gratitude for your relationships, for your friendships, if you have found yourself becoming more optimistic, if you have found yourself in that energy and you are with your person, there's so much growth and expansion. If you are not with your person, this energy is coming towards you and it's going to come, especially when you release any of your resentments and past traumas right because this energy that's coming in it's so light-hearted but it's exciting at the same time don't be afraid to put your guards up and and say what you really mean but pick your battles well this is not an energy that you want to be combative in because there's so much mirroring it's going to be confusing especially in the beginning for some of you i'm hearing like you might not even like this person <laughs> okay <laughs> so yeah really strong taurus virgo capricorn aries leo sag libra could be dealing with another libra could definitely be dealing with aquarius gemini let me know how this reading resonates with you. This was pretty intense tapping into your God energy.